Group flares. Federal government of Vandan the Canos continue detention. Hello, great people. Welcome to my channel. Now, according to the news of today, a group of human rights advocates under the aegis of policy and legal advocacy center of Friday knocked the February federal government for flaunting the court of appeal ruling regarding the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinam de Khan. The executive director of policy and legal advocacy center, Clement Wang, expressed his reservation at a press conference held in Bodia to commemorate the Global Human Rights Day. A federal court of appeal in Abuja had ruled that the FG breached all local and international laws in his first full rendition of Kano to Nigeria and action that notified the charges of terrorism charges against him. Despite the judgment given for Kano's release, the administration of the President Major General Muhammad Buhari III has refused his release. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami had said that the IPO leader was only acquitted and not released, insisting that the FG would pursue other charges against Khan. Bemoaning what he had done, an obvious abuse of human rights. One who expressed concern that Nigerian was gradually drifting away from his responsibility as enshrined in the country's constitution and various international human rights treaty obligations. According to him, not only has the country failed to protect its citizens from the erosions of their basic and fundamental rights, the government was often found complicit in action that deny rather than enhance those rights, he said. For instance, an October 13 ruling by the Court of Appeal specifically implemented the government for its role in adopting a wanted citizen from a foreign country without due process in order to bring him for trial. Such an illegal action by the government in the terrorism and the reasonable felony trial of Namde Khan, leader of the people of Biafra, nullified the government case, making it untriable in Nigeria, the court said in its landmark ruling. But the government has persisted in its old ways by disregarding the court rulings and seeking an appeal at the same time both the federal and the state government have also demonstrated a lack of tolerance for criticisms. They have often choose to clamp down on critics by deploying regulatory powers, setting bogus laws and using security forces. Examples include the ban of Twitter and the numerous occasions where government Official, including the president's wife, unlawfully arrested and detained critics and journalists. The human rights advocate recommended a change in attitude where the government sees itself as the prime defender of human rights rather than their prime violator. A worried one who also stated that there was an urgent need to tackle the grazing conflict sweeping the country as it is directly implicated in food shortage and the rising cost, the government should re redouble effort to tackle pervasive insecurity in the country and reset its control over the country's territory, the report said. Black called on the authorities to launch investigation into allegations that some members of security forces are showing partnership to some size in the grazing conflict to nip such practice in the ball, if true and boost the citizen trust in armed forces, he said. Now we come to the end of the news. There is nothing more to talk about. The issue is that we want Mazdanam the Kano to be released. Nigerian government are complicated. They are doing everything possible to destroy the gentleman which they have fell in arrival. They continue to deceive the people, causing more problems. Every atrocity is happening in Ibulan today, they are contributing it, if not 50% of it. All the insecurity in Ibulan, if not 50% of it, they are contributing. 
Mazen Namde Kano did not commit any crime. All he did was fight for freedom of his people, and which many of us supported him because that is that was the right thing to do, still the right thing to do. But Nigerian government, as criminal minded as they are, they went all the way to Kenya to kidnap him. Quite sure it was a trap, but the court has said let him go, free the gentleman. So the question is, why are they still keeping him? This is one of the things that the United Nations is not doing right. They have issued a statement, but today they have not done anything. Even after the debt given to the so-called Nigerian government has expired. Rather, they are busy planning an election in Nigeria. The British government are criminally minded, like I've always said. If not, they have every power to ask Nigerian government why they are still keeping they are citizen who owned a British passport and was kidnapped in Kenya. But they have refused to do that because but they, have refused, they have refused to do that because they are part and parcel of what is going on. Even the so-called United Nations, the E, the Amnesty International. I cannot see any strong action they are putting in this whole thing, in this whole saga. Because Buhari government by now, especially Buhari, should not be allowing to come to United Nations in the name of anything to give a speech because he contributed in terrorism going on in the northern part of the country. And today, he also contributed in the problem happening in Ibo land, at least 50% of it. And his threat here and there they will not say they did not see that or they did not hear that. But they continue to allow him to visit the United Nations. Or was it because Amina is there? We should always do the right thing at the right time. Mazen Namde Kanu is a gentleman, no matter what you think. He may be a little bit harsh, and that's how he's supposed to be. But he has not killed anybody. He did not kill anybody. Just like what is going on today. People should let the gentleman go. People should let him go. We will not continue to throw out all this nonsense from the Nigerian government. We know what they are planning to do and why they are still keeping them the can. Form of us who know, we know. And those who don't turn it in are busy ranting. They want to disorganize Ibo land. They want to see what we can do so that they will disorganize Ibo land. This is it. So the gentleman knows what he's doing. Even Mazen Nandika, who is with them in DSS custody, he knows why he has not ordered for anything. Asha. He's not dead yet. He's still alive. And he will never die. For those of you who think he will die so that he will become leader, you are wasting your time. Time has come. We have to fight for Mazen Namde Khan. When I mean fight, is to do everything possible to make sure he's released. I'm not saying that he should go around killing innocent people. And these have come to the end of this news. J. Biafra.